Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? <laughs> Man, today we're going to be doing this really cool medieval house. It's probably, it's not a large one, but I would say maybe like a medium-sized medieval house uh, that you can plop down in your world. It's a lot of fun to build and I'm going to show you how we did it. But let's take a little spin so you can see uh, what we got going over here. But it's very cool, very Tudor style. We got different uh, style of blocks uh, on the first floor and second. Get a little bit of a brick top with the roof and a little border of our dark oak look at very awesome and we also use it on boy jersey boys pack so if you guys want to download this pack there's a link in the description go check it out it's amazing we also got a playlist with a bunch of builds down that row go check them out there's a bunch of cool stuff down there but let's get this started so we're going to be using these blocks right here uh we're going to be using some uh, strip spruce some regular spruce some spruce stairs slabs we're using some stripped oak some oak planks some dark oak stairs dark oak slabs some white terracotta and some brick a couple little things along the way but let's get it started i got a whole outline right here for you so right there take a little pause there you go you can see where we're going to place all of the logs for supports and let's get this started right now so start out starting out right here in the front this is what we're going to do let's actually make almost like a base outline for this and we'll, we're going to tear uh, just just mess it all up with a bunch of uh, random block placements in a second but watch i'll show you we're going to texture this a little bit but let's start right here let's just go up for this one let's go up one two three four uh let's go up here one and two one and two one and two let's just do two all the way so we get to this corner let's do two like that now every other one we're gonna skip one we're gonna go up like this so let's go up one two right here one two here one two here and just leave that just like that now let's do a little cross beam so we're gonna beam right here leave this part for a second i'm gonna do a nice little stair pattern like we did right there in a second but let's do a two right there one two three cross beam let's do a one two three cross beam and a one, two, three, and a cross beam, just like that for the beginning. And then down here, we're gonna put one block like this, and let's actually raise that up one more, and that is our little stairwell to get up. But for now, leave it just like this. Let's make it simple. Let's turn on here to the side. Right here, we're gonna also go up one, two, and three. Let's cross beam right here. We're gonna do one, two, and three. All of these now, we're just gonna do threes. One, two, three. Then we're gonna come here and cross beam here, cross beam here cross beam right there then we got this side now let's go over here let's go up one two and three cross beam all the way down right here just like that here we're gonna go up one two and three another cross beam here we're gonna go up one two and three and we're gonna cross beam right here and then we're gonna go up right here one two and three one two and three another one two three let's do another three why not let's do a one two and three actually this one we're gonna take it also up to match this point so that's a four and then a little cross right here on the side just like so perfect now we're also going to cross beam that 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 and that so now a total of everything that we're doing here this is a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen um 16 17 18 so it's 18 long this way and they one uh well if you count these is a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so another 15 and then over here another 18 if you count this again this one's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so that is your official dimension so this is going to be just a little porch right here we're going to also do a little porch on this side main structure of the house will be basically from this line that you see right here this line all the way here so the main house is this portion right here but uh let's uh, make some more support so right here we're also going to go up one two three and four here we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four, and just leave it just like this for now, because we're gonna be going up in a second. Um, let's actually just leave it just like this, okay? Now, let's do a little cross beam, one right here. Let's do another cross beam right here, another cross beam right here, there we go. Now, let's go in here, these are supports. We're just gonna go up one, two, three, one, two, three, one two three and then one two three so in between it's just a three by three by three by three box like that perfect now let's cross beam that cross beam this cross beam here let's cross beam here let's cross beam here just connect all the dots this is just for support right here right there right there we have this little cross beam of support now let's do another one right here also one right up the middle just like that and actually i don't think i have one there but i think for just support sake let's put one more right here let's put one more right there just like that perfect so we have this look going all the way around let's take a little spin get to the tippy top looking awesome looking great now another one that i want to add is right 
over on this is add another little beam as well because this is also part of the house see a little pop out area and then this right here is our little porch we got a little porch here and here so these are little porch angles right here now let's grab our dark oak i'm gonna put a stair here put a stair here put a stair right here so that's our way up now on this side i'm gonna grab our slab and we're just gonna run the slab all the way down just like this from one side to the other oh i messed up all that <laughs> let's go all one side to the other and then we're also gonna do another one right here so a slab going all the way down from here to there there we go perfect so we have slabs there and then the whole inside part this is going to be the uh the, the flooring for the main house so for this one let's change this one up let's put uh some spruce on here just so you can see the difference between the outside and the inside so let me do this real fast it's going to cover all these up in a slabs give me one moment all right here we go so let's start this up so now we're going to work on the main house so for this one uh let's start on the main structure here then i'll do a little uh overhang over here for the porch side but actually for this one i think we can get rid of this little piece just to keep it all one row like that i think that's a little better we can keep it it's fine but i kind of like it just one straight line of dark oak right there perfect now let's do this so on these we're going to lift these up so let's start with the front right here from this line right here from this line right here let's just go up one two three two three four all right one two three four one two three four let's do that now let's cross beam right here cross beam right there now let's take this one up right here so it's a space of three and then one two three four cross beam let's take it a space of one two three and then go up by four cross beam and then we're also going to take this one up one two three four cross beam right here on this guy we're also going to take it right up let's see i'm going to go up right here in this corner one two three and four and cross beam right here for this guy let's take it also one two three and four cross beam here one two three four again another cross one two three and four right here another cross here we're going to take it all the way down so it's a space of one two three four five in the middle and then we're going to go up also by four and cross and then again here one two three four cross beam cross beam perfect now in the inside part uh this is super simple we're going to grab our spruce stair i'm going to put a spruce stair right here and a spruce stair right here spruce stair right here and a spruce stair right here so we have this little bit of a window for this one we're going to mix in some stripped oak wood and some plank so we're going to do it like this and it look at just like that so just mix it up so maybe a plank here or a, a, a log here plank plank let's do a plank let's do a log log just like that and that gives it that cool little textured look right now let's do this one again on this side we're just going to go with our stair stair and again the same thing so let's do a plank plank let's do another plank here let's do a couple strip logs right there perfect and then over here let's do plank let's do actually this one i'm going to completely fill in let's mix up the materials as well just like we do that looks good and then here we're going to put our door so let's put maybe uh let's do a mixture let's do that that and a couple ooh, wrong thing let's do something like that perfect uh, and then coming in we got a little door right there on this side looking super cool now for this thing we're gonna go up let's take this one up this is already one two three four so we got four here let's do another one uh how do I do it <laughs> one two three four on this one four on this one and four on this one so just leave those there for now and we'll work on that overhang in a second so let's do that now for this little piece i'm gonna pop this log out pop this log right here out and out just like that then i'm gonna go over here on this end and then this side uh before we do any pop outs let's actually fill this whole thing in before we do the next pop out uh so for this one on that one if you see it do the same thing we're gonna put a uh, upside down or a regular stair here and here upside down there and there and then do your thing let's just randomly start putting in blocks like so like so maybe another little poop and pop there we go that looks cool all right now for this one we're gonna do the same thing again do it in all of them so one there one there here we're gonna do it again and then we're gonna do the same thing so let's put some random block let's just drop it this is how i would do it just randomize it and then plank 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 let's do planks on these planks on those and you get the picture just randomize it and make it look really cool and textured uh for this one, we're gonna do it random again and this let's try doing this random like this put all planks and then just come in here and just drop in a bunch of these lovely blocks of uh, this strip it's so good so I'll leave that one completely filled in now here we're going to put more windows let's put one here 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 and here and again let's do it again let's drop all these planks random positions and textured just like so perfect so we have that in looking awesome so let's take a quick little spin this is what we have so far 
looking very cool. Now, we're gonna start changing some stuff up and adding some details. So number one thing, before we get to the next section on the top part, uh, let's grab some fence. Let me go over here real fast. I'm gonna replace maybe one of these. Uh, let's grab some fence, some fence gate, and then also, let me actually grab some of this lovely button. And then it's looking awesome. We'll do that pop out in a second. But let's do this little bottom layer, how we have it. And oh, also some uh, uh, trap door. Uh, oh, I need this. Let's grab, uh, get rid of the white for now. Perfect. Okay, come with me. <laughs> so let's grab this. So for the bottom parts here, I'm just going to cover this front end right here, this side, just with fence. So this is easy. I'm going to probably do this off cami cam. So just replace all this with fence. The only difference is going to be right here. Let's put some of those fences here. Let's do fence every other one, every other one, every other one. And then let's put a gate here, here, and here. Down here, though, we're going to grab some slabs of dark oak, and we're going to give it a little bit of a different look and do something like so. Let's grab a fence, put that one here and here. Uh, and then on this side as well, we're going to grab a uh, slab, put it here, 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 here. And then the rest, everything else, and I'll do this really quick off cami cam. Everything else here is just going to be covered in a fence all the way down. Now, as far as this part, we're also going to put fence, 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 fence. And we have all this set up looking very, very cool. But one thing that I want to add, actually, let me grab a slab over here. It's easier to grab and to go. Uh, boop, there we go. So for this little part on the exposed log pieces here, we're going to put a slab of our spruce going all the way around. And then also another thing we're going to do is grab buttons. <laughs> Let's put a button here, here, and here. And now we're going to work on the next section. A little bit of details we could do at is uh, just the trap doors every other spot here for the windows. Trap door here, here, trap door here. Let's put one, this one could be anywhere. Let's put that one on that side. Let's put this one on this side. None on this, let's put one here and one there. All right, so now let's start this next floor. So one little thing, actually, this was one less right here on this side because then we're gonna give it a nice little angle to it. So let's pop in a, uh, a slab of dark oak going all the way down like so. Stop it right here. Then we're gonna do this, watch. We're gonna come in here, put a slab, actually put a, uh, let's see slab slab just like that then we're gonna put a slab 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 and slab now for these let's just replace these with full blocks because this is what happens when you put double slabs uh on this we get a nice little texture but it looks awesome uh on a different a different thing but not on this uh, uh on this roof let's just go with just slabs going all the way down and then we're gonna go right here and then once we get to this point we're gonna go straight down and that's gonna cap it off that's gonna stop right there so that's your little roof for this part looking very cool now next up let's lift these up uh this is gonna go up actually we're gonna go up from here we're gonna go up one two three four five we're gonna go up one two three four and five and then you know what actually for this one i made it a little bit different let's take this little piece off right here let's add it here and here instead just to change it up a little bit look at that it's gonna look cool now watch this we're gonna go up on this one one two three four five one two three four five then here we're gonna put it upside down stair uh, up over here. Let's actually trim this one out. Let's put a full block and then put an upside down stair here. Get rid of that as well. Put a full block, put an upside down stair here and there. Then upside down stairs all the way around, just like so. Looking very awesome. Then we're going to grab our white. Let me go grab it real fast. Run. So let's just run. Uh, and this is some beautiful white uh, concrete. And it's very nice. And we're going to go right here. One, two, three, four. Uh, I fell. One, two, three, four. Just four. Here, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna go up one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Cover that up, and we have this little window, uh, and that's looking awesome. Now, the next thing I wanna do is on this one, look at that, I got a little cross uh, beam right here. So let's just do a cross beam here, here, and here. Leave that there, perfect. Now, here we're gonna do tutor block. We're gonna go straight up and down from here. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. One, oop, every other one. One, two, three, four, five. Every other one. Every other one. Now, on here, every other one. And we're gonna go every, ooh, right here. And this one actually, oh, hold on. Uh, this one is gonna go right, let's see. Do I have this perfect? Okay, let me see. Yes, we're gonna do a another tutor right here. And then that comes out good because now what we do is we're gonna raise this white right there. So we're gonna raise it one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And here we're going to cross beam 
all of these and in here let's just take this one all the way up and we're gonna put a little divider here so you're not gonna really see that little part and anyways right here we're gonna put our nice little fireplace uh so actually let's leave this one how it is just just like that we're gonna put a little nice little chimney on that corner so look at this looking very awesome i love that thing but we're gonna pop two windows we're just gonna pop one here and here and leave those open so when we do the window is set now on this side we're also gonna do some more tutor stuff so right here we're gonna go up one two three four and five cross one, two, three, four, and five cross with a little middle gap open and five again and cross. And then here, we're just gonna go up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and in the middle, you see it right there, we're gonna put a one and a one, and we have this little two block gap right there, which we're gonna put a flower box in a little while. Now, let's work on this side now. All right, so let's do this part right now. We're gonna do a nice little look to this one. Let's take it up right here. Take it up by five, and then we're gonna cross beam that guy and give it a little window here. We're just gonna ring around the rosy, give it a two block window like that. Here we're gonna go up right on the side. We're gonna give it a space of one, cover it up with this beautiful white concrete. Uh, then we're gonna go up here as well to the end. We're gonna take it up one, two, three, four, and five. And then over here, we're also gonna lift it up right next to it, just like this one, and we're gonna cross beam here. Leave it the middle open for this same look. So we're pretty much mirroring that side to this side. So we're gonna cross beam here, and then we're also gonna make that lovely window that's too high right here on this side. So this is this side looking very cool. So I love it, so far so good, look at that. All right, now, another thing we wanna do is this corner. So for this one, uh, it's a little tricky, so I'm gonna show you how we did it. So we're gonna do a lot of tutor blockage going this way, so let's take it up right here. One, two, three, four and now this one is going to be a little tricky we're going to go right here take it up by five so let's do that one that one this one this one and this one let's cover all these up with tutor so going up just like this with a white more another one and another one and then here we're going to do a little cross beam we're going to make a one up here one up here cross right here put two stairs of your regular spruce and we're going to put a door right there uh, this is going to go ahead and be covered up, and then we're going to do a little overhang right on this side. So let me show you how we did that overhang. All right, so let's do this. We're going to pop out a log right here on this line. We're going to go one, two. We're going to pop one on this line, one, two. Then we're going to cross beam right here, okay? We're going to grab our stairs, and actually, let's move this guy to this side. Let's maybe move them to different corners. Maybe you'll see why. Uh, I'm going to do this. Let's put an upside down stair here. Put a stair right here, upside down. Uh, let's put another stair right there. Upside down, sorry, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let me do it again. So, upside down stair, we're gonna put a stair facing down and then a stair facing inwards like so. Perfect, so we have this little support structure looking really cool. Now, on top here, we're just gonna grab our slabs of spruce, cover this up, and then here, we're just gonna go up by one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and then that's it, that's pretty much it. Let's grab over here on this side our fence. Let's see, let's grab this fence. I'm gonna put fence, 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 and then let's grab the gate that we have here, and we're gonna put a gate here and here. Perfect. Now, let's leave this for now. I'm gonna put a little roof connected to this, but first, let's work on the main roof, right? So let's grab our regular old dark oak, and we're gonna take it down from here and here. Okay, and then don't worry, we're gonna do this middle section after. I'll do it right after that. So let's pop this out here and here. Let's do upside down stairs on both sides, regular on both sides. And this is gonna be straight up, just a straight up roof. We're not gonna do any trickery, no full blocks, no weird slabs or anything. We're just gonna go straight up like so until we get to the very middle, putting upside down stairs and the stairs just like so. Put a little upside down stair here and then on the tippy top, we're just gonna put a slab, that's it. That's all there is to it, nothing else. Then we're gonna take this, take it all the way down right here. We're gonna curve it this direction. We're gonna pop it out, all right? Now, on this side, we're also gonna go this way here, pop it out, and we're gonna do the same thing we did over there. We're just gonna go straight up like this with our stairs. So this is super easy. We're just gonna do this real fast. Just like this, bam, 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 and bam. There we go, put a little slab right on it. Now, this one is where it doesn't get tricky, but I'll show you what to do. Now, let's actually bring this down. So we're gonna go down, this is already one, two, right? Three, four, and then here, we're gonna twist it, right? And this is gonna match this line that we have right here with this one, do you see it? Line right there. Then we're gonna upside down stair right here, and then we're gonna go straight up, just like this, and we're gonna meet up right in the middle, right where that is, and you can tell because we're gonna line it up with that double window that we have right there on that side. So we're gonna go straight up, upside down, and that matches 
perfectly and then we're going to go straight down the other direction and if everything goes well we're going to meet up right in the other side on this level perfect just like that look how cool now we're just going to take this down just like this let's take it just up to here okay then let's just skip all this for now skip this one let's go from this side let's take it all the way down right here perfect all right now once we get to this part let's do some uh, lovely little trickery over here right here we're going to do an upside down stair let's do an up uh, stair going this way another upside down stair and then a stair going this way and then this is just going to go straight down just like so so we go over that little overhang let's do upside down stair stair upside down stair and now we have this little lovely spot and then we're just going to go straight down with our bricks going just like so now what i'm going to do in here this is simple i'm going to probably do this off cam because it's super simple just connect every single piece you see here everything you see right here from one side to the other just connect it with brick we're going to do this right now let me do this real fast off cam we can all right perfect so everything is completely mirrored from the other side to the next just like we did over here all of this went down the same row full of bricks full of bricks all over and then here we just cap this off by putting a slab of our spruce all the way down i mean our dark oak <laughs> all the way down and connect here with a little uh dark oak stair just so this can match pretty nicely looking really cool now let's do some details so now we're gonna fill in these little gaps in the middle like you see right there all we're gonna do here is just go straight up that's it nothing else to it and then we're gonna put another one over on this side one on this side and then come in here and just cover these up with our lovely old white pieces right there look at that all lovely love it so much now over here we're gonna do it a little different this is gonna go one here we're gonna put one here we're gonna put one here and here and we're just gonna take it all the way up just like this everything else is gonna get filled in with a white just like so super easy super awesome let's do the same thing on the other side and then we're gonna match it up we're gonna go straight up right here I'm gonna take it up right here in the corner one here one here every other one going straight up another one here going straight up perfect and then we're gonna grab our white and cover the rest up look how easy it's so easy i love it perfect now we're doing really good we're almost done with this whole thing now little details now we need to do first thing we're gonna go in here and we're gonna break some stuff off and make that cool little chimney look now for this one all we're gonna need is some cobble we're gonna need some stone brick and we're also uh, going, uh, oh, that's infested. I don't want that one. We're also going to need some walls and we're also going to need some uh, flower pots. So that's all we need. That's it. Now, let's go in here and I'm going to show you. I'm going to knock down this, 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 and this. So just that corner piece right here. For now, let's just take it in just like so. Let's come in with cobble. We can mix and match. Wait, where did my stone go? <laughs> so stone brick also. Let's mix and match. Uh, so let's do maybe a stone here. Let's do another cobble. Let's do some cobble. Let's mix it. This is just completely mixed. You can put however you want it, just like this. And we're just going to take it from this spot. This is technically a one, right? So one, two, three, four. We're going to go up five. And we're going to go up uh, five. And that's it. <laughs> just five, just like that. And then we're going to come in here with our walls and go right here. Drop our uh, flower pots on top. Just like that and if you want to beat it up just a little bit you can grab some stairs of maybe cobble let's say and just twist one maybe maybe go over here and twist another one just to change it up that looks awesome just like that just like that now for extra added details we're going to come over here let me grab some stuff so let me grab our trapdoor right let me grab some uh grass let me grab some fence posts some we have the dark oak slab and then we're going to do this little look to it we're also going to grab some windows yellow is my favorite uh and then also on this side let's see what anything we want to grab i think uh oh we're also going to grab some of the these guys and maybe if we mess up one of those and then let me show you also we're going to do a little trim around here also add a little bit of detail texture a little bit let me show you how we did all that so first off let's do this one so easy flower box just go one two and three right on this level Grab some trap doors, put it on the bottom, put some trap doors on the tippy top, and that is it for that. Uh, up here, we're gonna grab a fence post, put one here and here. Then we're gonna grab some dark oak and we're gonna go up in a row, up and down, just like that, and then grab a glass, and there you go. That is a nice little overhang, looking fantastic. Uh, that's really cool. Now, another thing you wanna do is come over here, do it on this side, so we're gonna go one, two, 
then we're gonna grab our flower box. We're gonna go up right here, one, two, three, and then drop the trap doors. Again, the best trap door in the game, the spruce, and we're gonna go all the way around, and that's also a lovely little thing, but we're also gonna make a little overhang on this one. Uh, nothing too crazy, just one right here, a wall, I mean, a, a, wall. a fence here, a fence here, and then we're gonna go with slabs here, here, and there, nothing to it, just like that. Then for this one, we're gonna do uh, two of them. We're gonna put one on the main one and one on the little one. So let's go here, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna put our trap doors again, doing the same thing we did last time. Just going all the way around, get rid of that one. Going all the way down here, all the way down here as well. We're gonna drop this, going all the way around. And that's another little lovely little spot. Uh, for this one, I'm not gonna put an overhang because it doesn't need it, but I will put one on this one. So let's go here and here. We're gonna drop our slab on this, 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 repeat, the same thing. Dropping our glass, dropping our glass, just like that. Looking awesome. Another little thing, remember I showed you that little piece of detail here. Let's do this right here. So slab, slab, slab. Oh, sorry, slab here, slab here, and slab here. So every other one gets a slab, and then you're gonna drop a little trap door here and here just to give it that extra little bit of detail. Uh, here we could do one right there, and then we could put a slab. Oh, not a slab, that's a slab. And then we can also do one here. So slab here, 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 and then trap door here, there, 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 just to give it just a little more. Uh, we could do it over here as well. So let's go with slab, 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 slab. And then here we got a slab, slab, and this one, we could just hide a slab and then that's fine. Then we got trap, trap all the way around, giving that little bit of detail. Let's put that glass here and here, trap door probably there and there, it looks perfect. And we're looking awesome, that's looking so good. Let's see, let's take a little spin. Yep, that's looking how we want it. Now over here, we add some windows. Let's add one here and here, just to give it a little bit more detail, just like that. And I think that is perfect. I don't think we did add any kind of uh, flower boxes over here, but if you want, you could. You could do a longer one, maybe one. Actually, no, we can just do a three right here. I don't even think we did it, I'm not sure, but I think it would actually uh, look pretty good if we have it right there. So let's add another flower box, that's it. Now, another tiny, tiny little bit of detail that I like to do is to, and you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you on this side. You, you, this is pretty clean how we have it right now, right? Looks pretty good, I like that. But if you wanna dirty it up, mess with it just a little bit let me show you a little bit what you could do you see over here how we have some planks inside these beams and you could totally do that see the little, little bit of detail just add some planks in the beam just to mess with it break it up give it a little more texture you see that just a little bit over here just a little see no flower box here but i kind of like that flower box right it looks really good so we did some details like that uh oh so a little row of trap doors here we didn't do in the other one but that's fine so there pretty much just to give it a little bit more but also you know what Let's go inside this guy so I can give you guys some inspiration of what it would look like if you were to actually do some interior. We finally did interior, that's right. Now, another cool thing in Germs Pack, these are end rods. Really cool lantern uh, design. Also has a new lantern for 114 coming out, which is gonna look amazing, but this looks so cool, right? But look, little seating area right here in the front. We're going inside, let's see some stuff. So let me grab this lantern. I think we get some ambient lighting from it, right? Let me see. I don't know if we do, let me see. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. So, we're coming in here. This is how I laid down this foundation with uh, with room layout, so you can see it. So, cross beams, ceiling on top with some dark oak. Coming in here with some uh, bookshelves, tra uh, the crafting bench. This is the lovely sea pickles looking like candles. This is the redstone torch looking like a real candle. Uh, and then I blocked this part off. In here, little uh, bath, a nice little bath. Um, here you can take a little shower. Hey, look, there's water in there, lovely. Uh, and we got a little poopy chamber right here. This is the uh, a lovely, amazing hopper made out of wood. Looks awesome. And we got this little, kind of little steam thing. A little, going, a little piping going on, lovely. Uh, over here we got a little seating area with a note block looking like a crate. Uh, and then we got some lighting, a little bit of a lovely corner here. Love this, the, the ceilings, awesome. And then coming over here, we got a spiral staircase that goes to the next floor, but we got a lovely little kitchen. Eating area right here. We got a lovely kitchen on this side. Look, it's so good. Look at that painting, it looks so awesome. Uh, this is the chimney we're using, which is fantastic. You can bake all kinds of stuff in there. Lovely for cooking. But I love this carpet, it looks so nice. And uh, some details here for the kitchen. What do you guys think? That's really cool, I love it. Now, let's take a little spiral. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. Now, coming up here, I love this. 
big old ceilings looking very cool balcony goes off to the outside right here uh we got some a little bit of details here just a little uh table here's where the chimney keeps going up on the side this part here i love it with all my heart check this out this is our library I'm gonna go up this thing and then we have a little nice little seating area here books on books on books on books all over the place looking awesome high ceilings right here looking so cool i love this library though look at that now here master bedroom time coming on inside and look at that big old bedroom it's a king size uh with a lovely headboard on the back some details high ceilings again little table in the corner i love it i love it there you go just some details something you could do in this house if you want to set it up if you guys want to do your own do your own have fun play with it if you guys do anything different send me a little screenshot you know on twitter on discord uh man i would love to see what you guys do with it on insides man since the interior is a little tough uh but sometimes you know i get some inspiration and it pops out uh, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this i had a lot of fun building it uh, let me know if there's any other builds you want me to try out any other build type styles everything I'm, I'm down for whatever let me know in the comment section down below but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next episode of building with hosts see you guys later goodbye when does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now.